We are talking about the movie Vampire Clay, which is also known as Chio Nendo, and this one is directed and written by uh, Soshi Umzua, so obviously a Japanese movie, and this is kind of like if Full Moon or Troma were a Japanese company. It's basically a straight B-movie from Japan. Uh, Jap uh, Japanese weirdness aplenty on this one. So Vampire Clay, it focuses on this small uh, art school, which is very rural, it's at the kind of middle of nowhere, and it only has a very kind of few students, I think it's like six students or so, and there's a lot of discussion about this kind of, you know, uh, having doing things traditionally versus kind of new methods and stuff like that, so there's a little bit of uh, a context and kind of commentary on that kind of thing. And um, this particular uh, the school finds this kind of like clay, which is in these bags, which has kind of been uh, buried underground for some reason. They kind of take it back to this uh, uh, school and obviously limited resources. And uh, one of the students decides that they, they, they need some clay, ultimately kind of puts some water in it and starts to kind of like uh, use it to uh, model things and stuff like that. And however, this, this clay has supernatural properties and actually requires blood for kind of sustenance. And you'll get some context as to why that is as the sort of film progresses. So this movie ends up being with this kind of like these, this kind of weird uh, gelatinous kind of mess out of the blob which kind of has you know uh, essentially attaches to someone and ultimately kind of sucks their blood and then sort of can almost morph into them making them kind of like clay zombies some, almost. So this is a really bizarre body horror film where uh, you know people are kind of like turning into kind of like musky kind of clay monsters and they have this kind of like this mass kind of like this gelatinous mass uh, sort of overtaking them kind of swallowing them up so it's very much of the melty face uh, genre of uh, kind of horror here so if you're a fan of body horror it's it's kind of like the thing and the blob and kind of stuff like that but a, a weird uh, J japan uh, b-movie level so i would say knowing the people a lot of the people who watch this channel he'll probably be Scratch quite a lot of it of itches, I gotta say. So, um, I think a lot of people will get get a lot of fun with this movie because it is very silly. I mean, it's a very silly film, and but it's it's kind of clever and it does have a a fair amount of kind of plot to it, which I thought was quite good. So, if you can kind of get away from the the bizarre silliness of it, I think there's actually quite a lot to enjoy here. Now, the effects, I've got to say, I was quite impressed with. For the most part. They're actually quite fun. There's some there's some kind of neat uses of uh, prosthetics here uh, and stuff like that, and this kind of like these weird kind of monsters. I will say I think the um, the natural form of these kind of vampire uh, clay cr cr creature creatures is a little on the weak side, um, and there are times when the, the the appears to shift in mass, which doesn't really make sense you know compared to the film. Um, but there's a few, I show a few niggles here and there with the kind of, especially with the, uh, like I say, the, the final form of this kind of, this creature. Uh, but there are some neat sort of body horror effects that really do look pretty gooey and disgusting, I've got to say. The cast here is all pretty good. I find it quite difficult to judge uh, uh, acting when it's kind of in a foreign language. So obviously it's Japanese with subtitles. Uh, but it all seemed pretty good to me, um, to be honest with you. It's difficult to really kind of judge acting. Uh, but it all seemed, you know, pretty decently kind of the emotional uh, um, reactions of people. Although this movie does take go you know, one step beyond with people not running away. Uh, we, we see uh, loads of scenes where something is happening like a few feet away and there's people just on the floor going, Oh my God, what's going on? Obviously, in Jap that's a bit translated into Jap Japanese. And they literally just don't get up and they just stay there. And it happens a lot and for a long time. So it's maybe a little bit of a, a nitpick on that one. Um, but it's a fun movie, I've got to say. I, I kind of enjoyed it quite a lot, this film. And uh, yeah, the premise is a little silly and kind of, I think maybe it drags a little bit in the end. And it has more endings than bloody Return of the King, this film. You keep thinking it's going to end and then another thing happens. Uh, so it does drag on a little bit towards the end there. But it's a lot of fun, and if you like kind of gooey creature features uh, with lots of like weird body horror and kind of like melty face gooey people, then I can't recommend this for enough. So I'll give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's definitely worth a watch. Obviously, I know not everyone's going to be interested in a foreign language film, uh, but if you can kind of get over that, then I feel there's a lot to enjoy here. So 7 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me in comments. 
and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.